FEM solution actually minimizes the energy norm of the solution which means the gradient of the error squared from 0 to 1 dx where the E is my let me call it eh is uh minus u exact so let's take a look at why that is the case this is the case because the norm of the gradient in this case is actually the energy norm is the energy norm of this partial differential equation So what is the energy norm of, of the partial differential equation? Okay, the energy norm of the partial differential equation is actually relates back to the derivation of a certain kind of partial differential equations, like the Poisson's equation and also like the beam equation you are working on in your project. These are equations that describes some equilibrium state of a structure or heat transfer problem or some physical phenomenon. And that equilibrium process or the equilibrium state usually corresponds to minimization of energy or minimization of a certain action in, a, in, in <coughs> physics. So for example, in Poisson's equation, Poisson's equation actually minimizes a particular energy and that energy uh, for example Poisson's equation it minimize it minimizes uh, integration of uh, what was that the integration of the derivative of a u of the solution squared I think it's minus f times u dx okay so what is it in physics what is it minimizing it is like if you have two points let's say if you have two walls if you tie a string between these two walls Okay, if you tie a string on these two walls and then put some weight on this string, and f is the density of this weight uh, of the weight. So when f is high, there are more weight on that particular location. What this is saying, what the uh, the the norm of the derivative is saying, is representing is the elastic energy of the deformed is the deformed string under this uh, under the weight under the, the gravity uh, force of these weights and f times u I mean so u is the deformation so this function is u of x u is the deformation so the the, uh, the the derivative actually the square of the derivative is proportional to the square if you if you look at the triangle here is proportional to how much the string has lengthened and uh, so so this is the elastic energy and f of u is the gravity is the gravitational energy of the weights you you put on the string so this this is actually the total energy uh, of the system including elastic and potential energy if you look at the beam equation the reason it is fourth order uh, in space in x is because the the energy stored in the beam is proportional to the to the bending of the beam which by itself is a second order derivative right so the the energy statement for the beam is actually the the square of the second order derivative of the deformation so so this minimization statement through a calculus of variation basically saying that 
if, if the particular U minimizes this energy, then if you take a small perturbation on the U, the energy should not be perturbed. Should, it should be constant up to first order. If you take that variation, you can derive the Poisson's equation. Again, through integration by parts, you need to take one of these, uh, you need to take the delta U out of the derivative that puts a second order derivative in U. Okay. Uh, Actually, let's do the derivation here because delta E would be equal to uh, integration from 0 to 1. Uh, this is partial U plus delta U partial X squared minus partial U partial X squared. And then minus F of U plus delta U minus F of F times U. Right? Okay, and if you ignore all the terms that are proportional to delta u squared, which is going to give you something positive, you right because it's it's squared. If you ignore this delta u squared term, this gives you two times. Uh, I'm sorry, I need a half over here because the energy, the the elastic energy is half of uh, deformation squared. So I have a half over here. I also have a half over here. Uh, the half is going to cancel with the two here. I get a partial u partial x partial delta u partial x uh, in here. And then have a minus f times delta u. So, so this has to be equal to zero. And of course I have an O delta u squared term. So the first order term has to equal to zero. And the through integration by parts and because the two ends are fixed, so delta u is equal to zero at the two ends, integration by, bar by parts gives me uh, the boundary term is zero because delta u is zero at the two ends. Uh, I have delta u times second derivative minus, I can pull the delta u out now, I have a plus dx. So this has to be zero for any delta u, for whatever change you make to the u. That means this has to be equal to zero, and that is the Poisson's equation. All right, you can do the same thing with beam, beam equation. But what I'm saying is, uh, for a lot of the differential equations, where the bilinear term is symmetric and positive definite, you can always derive an energy uh, statement for the equation. And the energy norm it's basically coming from this energy statement. Okay, in particular, we can see that the Poisson's equation has an energy norm that is expressed as the, <coughs> the, the integration of the square of the derivative. And that is what is applied to the, uh, to, to the, to the energy norm anal error analysis of the Poisson's equation. All right, any, any questions on where the energy norm, the energy comes from? No, okay. So now let's start to, uh, start to take a look at why the energy norm is always minimized. Okay, so let's write uh, any equation, A, P, D, E, P D is weak form as A is the bilinear form A uh, U and V plus a linear functional of V equal to zero. Okay. And the energy norm exists if A of U and V is symmetric positive definite. So that's a SPD is symmetric positive definite. Uh, you may see a lot of SPDs out there. Uh, if you look at some of the papers, that just means symmetric and positive de de definite. Symmetric means U of A of U and V is always equal to A of V and U, which is the case for Poisson's equation and beam equation. Positive definite means A of U and U is always greater than zero for, for any U whose norm is greater than zero. So un unless U is actually a zero function, then A of U and U is greater than zero. So these two properties gives you SPD, symmetric positive definite. 
All right. So as soon as you have a weak form like that, we can perform a energy norm analysis. In particular, FEM minimizes the A norm of the solution. where EH is defined as UH minus U.